Welcome to the Emperor Snowman. If you're new here, hit that subscribe button and ring that bell. If you're returning, thanks for the support. In tonight's video, we're going to be discussing how Star Wars has given Darth Vader a new Imperial title. Star Wars comics have given Darth Vader a new Imperial title. Palpatine's plans for Anakin Skywalker were seriously disrupted when his new apprentice was defeated at Mustafar. He had devoted so much time to seducing the boy to the dark side, and he was unwilling to see all this effort wasted. And so he had Darth Vader transformed into a cyborg, and his true identity became a closely guarded secret. The sense of mystery meant Darth Vader was all the more terrifying. Some believe he had been created using Separatist technology, the same techniques that created General Grievous. Others speculated he was Palpatine's secret weapon, held in reserve throughout the Clone Wars in case the Jedi ever betrayed the Emperor. This theory at least accorded with rumors Darth Vader had led the clones in an attack on the Jedi Temple at the beginning of Order 66. Star Wars Comics has given Darth Vader a new Imperial title to define his role, that of the Emperor's Fist. The designation has been used twice now, in the Age of Rebellion, Darth Vader No. 1, and Darth Vader No. 24, and it's already been referenced in one novel. It perfectly describes the role Darth Vader had his apprentice play in the galaxy. He was Palpatine's enforcer, the Iron Fist striking out at anyone who would dare oppose the Emperor. The title is a riff on an idea from the old expanded universe, where Palpatine had a number of operatives named as Emperor's Hands, most notably Myra Jade, the woman who would eventually become Luke Skywalker's wife. The Hands were devoted to Palpatine in the expanded universe, so they wouldn't have minded, but Darth Vader would surely have found the element of dependency to be an insult to his pride. That, of course, is likely how Palpatine intended it. Sith are fueled by anger and rage, and every master is resented by their apprentice. It's easy to imagine Darth Vader hearing the title uttered and responding to a situation in an even more bitter, furious manner, just as Palpatine wanted. There have been references to the Emperor's hands in canon, but they seem to have served a very different purpose. Gar Saxon served as the Emperor's hand when he ruled Mandalore on Palpatine's behalf, and it's quite possible other loyalists governing key territories were given the same title. If that is indeed the case, the canon Emperor's hands were rulers, warriors, and administrators, rather than field operatives. Darth Vader would have looked upon them with scorn, aware that they were puppets and all the time remembering his own title, a reminder he too was just a plaything as far as the greatest villain of Star Wars was concerned. Hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know what you think in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Hit that subscribe button and we'll see you next time. You have failed me for the last time.